Blood must circulate to sustain life and carries oxygen to cells throughout the body. The heart circulates blood through the arteries, capillaries, and veins. Let's go through the circulatory system's functions. There are two types of circulation. Pulmonary circulation moves blood between the heart and the lungs, while systemic circulation moves blood between the heart and the rest of the body. The circulatory and respiratory systems work together to sustain the body with oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. Pulmonary circulation facilitates the process of external respiration. It absorbs oxygen from the tiny air sacs called the alveoli and releases carbon dioxide to be exhaled. Systemic circulation facilitates internal respiration where the blood diffuses oxygen into cells and absorbs carbon dioxide. The pulmonary loop only transports blood between the heart and the lungs. Deoxygenated blood exits the right ventricle of the heart and passes through the pulmonary chunk, which then splits into the right and left pulmonary arteries. These arteries transport the deoxygenated blood to the arterioles and capillary beds within the lungs, then passes from the capillary beds through venules into the pulmonary veins, which then transport it to the left atrium of the heart. The systemic loop travels all over the body, Oxygenated blood is pumped from the left ventricle of the heart through the aorta, through the systemic arteries, then to the arterioles and capillary beds that supply body tissues. Oxygen and nutrients are released and carbon dioxide along with other waste substances are absorbed. The deoxygenated blood then moves from the capillary beds through venules into the systemic veins, which feed into the inferior and superior vena cava, allowing it to flow into the right atrium of the heart. To learn more about your anatomy, visit visualbody.com learn.